For the second example, define a large pre-drilled hole to use as entry when roughing the main pocket with iMachining 2D. In the SolidCam Manager, first right-click the D small hole operation and select Suppress from the menu or use the Control F4 key command to suppress the operation. Then, Right-click the suppressed D small hole operation and choose drilling from the add milling operation submenu. This will insert the current drilling operation before the sequence of main pocket eye machining operations. The drilling operation dialog box is displayed. On the geometry page, click the new button to define the drill geometry for the operation. Set the radio button to pick position in the Select Centers By area of the Drill Geometry Selection dialog box. In the SolidWorks Graphics area, pick on the center point of the sketch at the lower face of the main pocket as shown. Then, click OK to confirm the geometry selection. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. You have to define a new tool to perform drilling of the entry hole. Click the Add Milling Tool button to start the tool definition. Select Drill from the Drilling Tools list. Under the Topology tab, set the diameter value to 12.5 mm. Keep the default remaining tool parameters, but change the number of flutes to 2. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button in the SOLIDWORKS Graphics area, select the top face of the target model as shown, and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Drill Depth button and select the lower face of the main pocket to define the drilling depth, and then click OK to confirm the selection. In the Depth Type area, leave the default selection of Cutter Tip so that the drill tip reaches the defined drilling depth. Switch to the Technology page. The standard drilling method of G81 is used for the operation. Name the operation D Large Hole. Then, click Save and Calculate to add the drilling operation to the cam tray and calculate the tool path. Using the Exit button, close the Drilling Operation dialog box. Because the main pocket has a flat bottom, the entry hole should have a flat bottom also since the roughing tool will feed down to the bottom of the hole. In this case, you need to define a profile operation to remove the drill point from the bottom of the hole before roughing the main pocket with iMachining 2D. In the SolidCam Manager, right-click the D large hole operation and choose Profile from the Add Milling Operation submenu. This will insert the profile operation before the sequence of main pocket iMachining operations. The Profile Operation dialog box is displayed and enables you to mill on or along a contour. Like iMachining, the profile geometry can be either open or closed. In this case, using Profile Milling Strategies, the machining of the entry hole drill point will be performed with spiral movements along the geometry with a continuous lowering of the tool along the Z-axis. On the Geometry page, Click the New button to define the machining geometry for the entry hole drill point. In the SOLIDWORKS Graphics area, pick on the circular sketch at the lower face of the main pocket as shown, and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. This sketch represents the 12.5 mm entry hole. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool Number 1, the 9.5 mm end mill. This is the same tool used in the next eye machining operation to perform roughing of the main pocket. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SOLIDWORKS Graphics area, select the highest point of the sketched line as shown. This sketch represents where the cylindrical hole ends and the 118 degree drill point angle begins. Click OK to confirm the selection and exit the Pick Upper Level dialog box. Next, click the Profile Depth button 
and select the center point of the sketch to define the machining depth. Click OK to confirm the selection and display the Profile Operation dialog box. Switch to the Technology page to define the technological parameters for the operation. Under the Modify section, Tool Side enables you to control the tool position relative to the selected geometry. The default selection of left is used. Under Depth Type, click the arrow to display the available depth type options. Choose Helical from the drop-down menu. The remaining default technological parameters are used for the operation. On the link page, you have to define the parameters of the tool approach and retreat relative to the machined profile. Under Ramping, choose Rapid from the drop-down menu since there is no material in the descent path. Leave the Lead In and Lead Out at None. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation F Drill Point. Then, click Save and Calculate to add the profile operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button. The tool rapids down and the profile depth is reached by spiral movements with a continuous lowering of the tool along the Z axis. SolidCam then performs the last cut with a constant Z movement at the profile depth level. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the profile operation dialog box. In the SolidCam manager, double click the iRough main pocket operation to open the iMachining operation dialog box. Switch to the link page and move to the pre-drilling tab. Because the operation was suppressed, you can see that D small hole does not appear as an available drill operation in the list. Select D large hole with a 12.5 mm diameter. When selected, the X and Y coordinates appear in the drill positions list. Now, iMachina can use the hole for safe tool entry. Click Save and Calculate to calculate the iMachining operation with new pre-drilling data. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button. As you can see, the tool now feeds down to the bottom of the entry hole and performs the pocket roughing toolpath. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box. In the SolidCam Manager, Right-click iRest Main Pocket and select Calculate from the menu. The operation is now synchronized. At this stage, Step 3 is complete and two types of pre-drilling operations are defined. In one example, a small pre-drilled hole is used to reduce stress on the tool and help increase tool life. And in another example, a large pre-drilled hole is used for safe tool entry. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in these videos to use pre-drilling operations when roughing the main pocket with iMachining 2D.